It looks like the pokies, but it's not. This is a social casino, freely available on mobile app stores. And while you can buy coins in game to play with, you can never cash out. Social casinos are a multi-billion dollar industry, dominated by some of the world's biggest gambling companies. There are no specific regulations other than general consumer guidelines. Importantly, social casino games can be played by anyone without any age gates, so children can access these games. Research suggests between 12 and 25% of adolescents have played these games, although that's a figure disputed by the industry. And the federal government is now proposing a new R18 plus rating to stop them playing. Simulated gambling within games certainly does have a link between real world online and other harms. These products appeal to the same people who take part in gambling anyway. And that's potentially a bit of a concern. The government also wants games with loot boxes where you can pay for a randomised in-game item to attract a minimum M rating recommended for ages 15 and over. Well, $500 later. That'll affect games like the hugely successful FIFA franchise. Some gambling advocates think the government should go even further on casino style games. They should be banned. Uh, in, in our view, they should be banned. This proposed R rating would apply to any game with any simulated gambling, regardless of whether it's front and centre, like in social casinos, or if it's a small part of a larger game. The plan will require agreement from the states and territories. Casey Briggs, ABC News.